my name is Caressa, and today I'm going to be doing my version of Thrifted Transformations. Thrifted Transformations is a series by Cool or Bell on YouTube where she takes old clothes she finds at the thrift store and transforms them into something new. Today I was given three decorative matching curtains and I decided to make a matching outfit. The first thing I did was seam rip the two seams at the top of the curtain so I'd have more material to work with. Then I seam ripped this border off so I would have it to work with later. So I ended up with three of each of these pieces. Next, I measured the length to see if I can make a skirt out of it, making sure I covered the bottom. I took my ruler, measured up 17 and a half inches, and cut across using a straight edge. Now that I had three of these pieces, I faced them right sides together and made a seam. Next, it's time to make a lining. Quick intermission because Pappy decided that it was time for cuts. This is what it's like sewing on the floor. I measured up 17 and a half inches, connected the lines with a straight edge, and cut across. This was by far the most daunting part of the project because I was using a lot of fabric that could be used for other projects. Next, I faced the two pieces of fabrics right side together and sewed across the bottom. I understitched the lining even though I'm not very good at it. Iron it all out and then it's time to make the pleats. I made two inch box pleats across the whole skirt. Once you have your box pleats pinned, it's time to sew across the top with a basting stitch. To finish the skirt, I sandwiched all the raw edges inside the waistband and sewed it down. Then I hand sewed Velcro on as a closure. Next, I took the remaining fabric from the top of the curtain and decided to make a halter top out of it. I cut across the top and then I measured some of the border to fit around my neck plus seam allowance. Since I don't have a mannequin, I pinned the shirt together and tried it on. Then I create a dart using pins and a sharpie. After marking the darts, I take out the pins and then straighten out my lines. I sew a basting stitch to try it on and make sure it fits before I copy the marking over to the other side. Now it's time to cut the lining. Even though I don't show it, I iron at every step of the process. I highly recommend an iron if you are someone who is interested in sewing. After ironing out my fabric, I use a straight edge and scissors to cut out the lining layer. Now I have three pieces, the lining, the original, and the neck piece. It's time to sew the darts closed on both the lining and the original fabric, and then attach the lining to the fabric by facing them right sides together and sewing down the sides. After sewing down the sides, I press the seams open and then top stitch down. And yes, I do iron with my feet. I place the neckband right sides together and sew the sides closed. Then I pin the two pieces together and sew across the bottom. Then I tried on the shirt to see where to cut the sides. I cut the sides and then it's time to make the straps. To do this, I cut one of the bias strips in half, press open the seam allowance, and then press it in half. Then I fold the raw edges in towards the center, fold it in half, and stitch on the open side. Before sewing the sides closed, I have to seam rip some of the top stitching, and I cut three inch sections of the straps to make loops. Then I sandwich the loops in between the right sides of the fabrics and sew closed. Top stitch to make it look pretty, and then it's time to attach the waistband. Last but not least, add a hook and eye to fasten the neck. So, how did I do? I started with three identical decorative curtains and I turned them into this cute matching set. My favorite thing about this look is it's adjustable so it fits many different sizes. Here it is on my mom. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!